In this video, I will tell you how to enable damage numbers and also how to customize them a little bit. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Twitter at your service. So you might be wondering why, why would you enable damage numbers? They are numbers that only get, seem to get in the way. It's because they offer a strategic value to your gameplay. For example, when I'm playing as a soldier, which I often do, and I'm chasing down a medic, and I know I did 110 damage to him, then I also know that he got he got about somewhere between 15 and 20 health left. He also has two generations, so I need to account for his yeah, so generation, of course. But I do know how about how much health he goes left, so I know I might take out his shotgun and try to finish him off or chase him in a similar situation. If I'm fighting as a soldier versus a heavy, 101, if I know that I did only like 100 damage to the, to the heavy and I'm getting low on health myself, then I know that I should retreat and get a health back. That's the reason why you enable damage numbers, because they offer you a strategic value. You can assess the situation based upon how much health your opponent has left and how much health you have left and compare. That's why you would enable damage numbers. Now, to enable damage numbers is fairly easy. You just go to the advanced options menu in the main menu screen. There should be an option somewhere just to then show damage text. And there you go. Autom automatically you will now... Uh, uh, see all the damage you do to your opponent. Now, there's a way to customize the look of your damage numbers a little bit. I'm not sure about you guys, but to me, the default look of the damage numbers is a little bit... I don't know, it's some, some, sometimes it's very hard to see how much damage you're dealing, because they are very small letters and they are displayed in the red, which is not really that much of an obvious color in some situations. Uh, it depends on the background, of course, of the text, but... Sometimes it's difficult to tell like which, what, how much damage you are doing because it's sometimes difficult to see. Now, the easiest way to customize the look of your damage numbers is to install a custom user interface, a custom HUD, uh, which you can do. You can just like Google it on the on the internet webs and just find a site where you can install custom TF uh, HUDs. I mean, the problem with that personally is I like the look of the default user interface. I don't know, why, but you guys, you can prefer something else. Now I can explain how I how I solve this situation. This is my personal approach. This is like a, a technique I found on the internet just by googling like how to increase the size of your damage numbers. And this is personal. Like you can prefer just to use the default uh, like the user interface you download from the internet uh, on some site you prefer whatever. Like but this is my approach. This is how I did, and I will explain how. Uh, so in the folder user interface, which is in the folder resource, which is in the folder custom hut, I will link the, I will display the folder path I used. I uh, created a text file, uh, just a regular notepad file. I uh, copied and pasted the code from the internet, the like line of of text decoding, kind of to change the dimension numbers. Which I will link in the description, of course, so that you guys can just copy it. You can like change the values if you want. So I pasted these texts, these lines, inside of my notepad file, and I save my notepad file as the name hut damage account dot res. That's how I did it. Just type it this way with the capital capital letters as well. Paste it in that folder. If you don't have that folder part, you create one yourself. You just create it to those folders, so you have that folder part inside of your Team Fortress directory. And there you go. That's how I did it. That's how I changed my num damage numbers. They will like increase the size and also made the color yellow instead of red, which is more much more obvious color. So it's much more easier to see see how much damage you are doing. Now, as I said already, this is personal preference. You can leave it as you want, you can change it with a custom user interface, or you can do it my way, just like increase the size and the color. Now, there's another way to customize the damage numbers a little bit, and that's making them stack, making them add up. With the command HUD combat text batching, if you set it to one, it will add everything up. You need to type this in the developer's console. If you don't know how to enable the damage, uh, the developer console, I mean, 
Uh, you go to the options menu, you can go to like the advanced options somewhere there, and you enable damage, uh, not damage, god damn it, uh, developers console, I mean. By default it's the tilt key, but you can also change this in the key bindings options menu, if you want to do that. Uh, personally I've changed this to something else, which makes it easier. But in any case, if you've done that, you type in HUD combat text batching and one. You also type one. Uh, one will enable zero setting to zero will disable the, the thing. Uh, if I recall correctly, what this does, it will add everything up. I think it's by default one second delay. What I mean by that one second delay, if for example you're playing as heavy, and the first bullet hits for five damage, right? And then second one hits within one second, it will add up, so it will, will display as ten instead of uh, two times five. Uh, this is very useful for like fire, uh, rapid fire weapons, like the flamethrower or the minigun as I said, or the SMG or whatever. So you don't have like all threes or fives uh, displayed up on top of each other. Uh, it's very useful to like not having to add everything up inside of your head and just estimate how much damage you did. No, it will exactly display how much damage you did more exactly. And you can also change this uh, the amount of delay, uh, like the the time window, which in uh, it will add everything up. Uh, you can change it by HUD combat tanks batching delay. I think it was. I will look it up and make sure they confirmed and displayed on the screen, of course. And what this will do is I've set it to two, I think, or one point five, um, because I often play soldier and I like to also add up the rockets. It will increase the time window so. Like, as I said, like it's not one second uh, time window, it might be more, like you can set it to two seconds. I wouldn't set it to too much, because people will eventually pick up health packs and get healed and all, all that kind of stuff. So, like, you don't want to end up, like, over 9000 damage, because, like, it's not really, that's, yeah, whatever, it's not really practical, isn't it? So that's kind of that, like, uh, you can s change this time number, like, to two seconds, for example, like, it will... Add everything up if it's still within two seconds delay, so that's very useful. So these are were a little bit of a couple of tips to alter your damage numbers a little bit. I hope you enjoyed, and if I find more commands, I will definitely list them in the description, maybe an annotation as well, uh, so you guys can customize your damage numbers as much as you want. Because again, like they offer you a very strategic value. Uh, to your gameplay and especially a lot of competitive players use this option to give them that advantage. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and take care folks.